Occasionally, an employee's T4 amount may need to be adjusted or corrected. They can be done so using transaction history within the Canadian Payroll Module. To make T4 adjustments, go to the Canadian Payroll Module, then Payroll Employees, then double-click on Transaction History. Enter the employee number of the affected employee. In our example, Marilyn Bryan. Then enter a date. If you need to make changes to Box 14, Employment Income, go to the Taxes tab, then select Income Tax under the Tax column and enter the adjusted amount in the Earnings Before Deduction field. If the amount in Box 14 needs to be decreased, just add a negative in front of the number. In our example, we'll just leave it as a positive amount. To make the changes, click on Add, then Save, then Close. To see if these changes took effect, click on Payroll Government Reports, then double-click on T4s. Ensure you select Employees Plain Paper in the Form drop-down menu. This option allows you to see more clearly if the changes made did take effect. Then click on Print. Here you can see that Box 14 has been adjusted. For adjustments to Box 16, Employees CPP Contributions, in the Taxes tab, select CPP under the Tax column. and enter the adjusted amount in the Employee Extended Amount field. Enter a negative, as we're doing in this case, so we decrease the amount. Here you can see that Box 16 has been adjusted. If adjustments to Box 18, Employees EI Premiums need to be made then under the Taxes tab, select EIR1 or the appropriate EI rate and enter the amount in the Employee Extended Amount field. Enter a negative to decrease the amount. In our example, we'll just leave it as a positive amount. Here you can see that Box 18 has been adjusted. For Box 24, EI Insurable Earnings Adjustment, select the Taxes tab. Then select EI rate under tax column and then enter the amount in the ceiling wage and no ceiling wage fields. Here you can see that box 24 has been adjusted. If changes needed to be made to box 26, CPP, Click on the Taxes tab, then select CPP under the Tax column. Enter an amount in the Ceiling Wage and No Ceiling Wage fields. Here you can see that Box 26 has been adjusted. If you had set up a benefit under Earnings and Deductions during Payroll Setup, and selected Box 30, 32, 38, or 40 in the drop-down menu of T4 reporting in the Employer tab and adjustments needed to be made, then in Transaction History, enter the Earnings slash Deduction code under the, under the Earnings slash Deduction column and enter an amount in the Employer Extended Amount field for that code. To see if these changes took effect, click on Payroll Government Reports, then double-click on T4s. Ensure you select Employees Plain Paper in the Form drop-down menu. Then click on Print. Anything that you added here will be seen in this portion of the T4 slip. 
If you set up a deduction under earnings and deductions during payroll setup and selected box 44 or box 52 in the drop down menu of T4 reporting in the employer tab and adjustments needed to be made, then under transaction history, enter the earnings slash deduction code Enter an amount in the Employee Extended Amount field for that code. Anything that you added here will be seen in this portion of the T4 slip. To make changes in Box 54, Payroll Account Number, this is located in the Payroll Setup, which then you want to select Income Taxes, and then under the Basic Info tab, Select the EIR1, EI Rate 1, Tax, and enter the Payroll Account Number in the Reporting ID box. Please note any adjustments made here will only appear on the employer's T4 slip. To see if these changes took effect, click on Payroll Government Reports, then double-click on T4s. Ensure you select Employer's Plain Paper in the Form a drop-down menu. Here you can see that the payroll account number has been added. If you need to make adjustments to box 12, social insurance number, this is found in the general tab of the payroll employees window. Any changes will be reflected here. And that is how you adjust and correct T4 box totals.